Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 45 and chapter 3. In this one, this is still is a project motion, but it is a little bit difficult. So it tells us the first thing, there is a person who right, leaves the end of the 5 meter high. There's a diving board. So in this one, you can see the initial position at here. The initial, the initial position, position is 5 meter. And then, it just hit the water 1.3 second later and 3 meters beyond the end of the board. So in this one, it must move this way. It is water there. The time taking is 1.3 seconds. The X displacement is 3 meters. And ask you to find the, uh, uh, the initial velocity. Right, initial velocity. For this one, we can consider there. We know the acceleration is pointing down due to the gravity, so negative g, negative 9.8 meter per second square. So this is all the loans. And we need to find the unknowns of v naught. So for v naught, we can see it must be in two component, x component. And the y component, agree? V O X, V O Y. And for the X component, so easy. You can see we know the displacement, and we know the time taking. So very easy. We can get V O X. Just use displacement divided by time t because at X component the velocity is constant. Now let's look at the Y component. In this one, you can see we know the initial position, we know the final position, we know acceleration, and also we know time t. Can you find initial velocity? Yes. Now see how we can do that. First thing we can find is the x component in this equation, displacement divided by time t, right? And also we can find the y component, uh, find the initial velocity at the y component in this equation. So you can say in this one, we know final position, initial position, and acceleration, and time t. So, so easy. We can get the initial velocity at the y component. In this one, you can say for this initial velocity, we know x component and y component. So we can write it in, two com two, in this uh, vector format. And get the initial velocity, the magnitude of initial velocity. And also the angle theta. See? Now, the next one asks us to find the maximum height it reaches. For this one, when it reaches to the peak, when it reaches to the peak, we can see at there, the velocity in y component is zero. Do you agree? Yes. So, the well, maximum of the peak, so you can see from the initial window position and the window initial velocity, v o y, and at the Peak window velocity at the y component is zero, and we also know acceleration. Can you find the this the displacement in y component? Yes. So we use this equation. See, we know the uh, velocity at the peak. We know initial velocity and we know acceleration. This uh, displacement is a uh, peak minus initial position. So in this one, we can get the velocity at uh, the the position at the peak. The third one asks, asks you the velocity which she enters the water, so the final velocity. So for this one, we can say in previous, we know this velocity in two components, x component and y component. So at x component, it is always constant. So we need to find the velocity at the y component. Do you agree? When it hits the water, this is Vy in there. And this is Vx. This Vx is equal to Vox. So the only thing we need to look is at the y component, Vy. So in this one, can you find it? Sure, because we know the initial velocity there. We know initial position. And we know the acceleration. And we know final position. See? In this one, we can use this equation. And also we know the time t. We know time t, you can see we know the initial velocity v o y we know the acceleration and we know time t so we can find the v y very easy so this one v y use this equation we can find the uh, v y 
is just the initial velocity at y component plus acceleration times the t. So in this one, we get the y component. As the x component is constant, keep it there, we get the final velocity in the vector format. And then we can get its magnitude and angle theta. Thank you.